Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Ah, I'm so excited. I am genuinely so excited to film this. It has been such a hot minute since I filmed a Pretty Little Thing haul and they are just some of my favourite, favourite videos. Um, and I haven't shopped on there in forever and it's just, it's been a while. So I'm really happy to be back filming one of these. As you guys can see, I have a few sneak peeks behind me. I've tried to kind of pick up stuff that I hope you guys is go are going to find. Kind of like key pieces, stuff that you won't have to repurchase, key things in your wardrobe, um, kind of like some basics in a way. Just because I'm trying to kind of start with more of a foundation going into autumn winter rather than repurchasing things that I already own. So fingers crossed you're going to find today's video super, super useful. If you haven't already got yourself a drink, go and pour yourself something. I have got a coffee this morning, makes a change. And I'm just so excited to get into everything. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Georgia May. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you want to see more of me, then go and check me out on Instagram. I'll leave it linked below as well as all my other social media handles. Also, if you're new to this channel, what are you doing? Hello, welcome, thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new, turn the bell on if you wanna be notified when you upload. I also love it when you guys engage with me, leave comments and likes, it just helps creators on the platform. Cause I know I ask you guys to do that sometimes and people are like, I don't understand why do you want us to comment or like. Um, just helps with engagement really, so feel free to do that if you want. Today's video is in sponsorship with Pretty Little Thing. Thank you guys so, so much for working with me on today's video. You guys know I love them, they're an OG brand of mine and I have shot with them for probably most of my life, adult and teenage life. So very, very excited to get into the stuff today. If you aren't already aware, PLT also have their own YouTube channel. I will leave that link below if you do wanna check it out. Um, and you guys can go over there and hit subscribe. And I will also leave all of these item, items linked if you basically just wanna click on the links. Totally up to you, but just thought I'd let you guys know about all of that boring stuff before we get into it. I'm getting irritated by myself. Let's just dive straight into the stuff. Okay guys, so I've linked everything out here. So I can share it with you. Also, so I feel like I'm a professional YouTuber. I feel like every kind of cool professional YouTuber has a rail. So I got a rail. I've also got my plaque here, my YouTube plaque. By the way, I know I'm going on a tangent. Sorry, everyone. Have we actually seen this? Have I shown this on my YouTube channel? I don't know if I have. Guys, this like came from YouTube. Like, <laughs> I can't believe I actually own one of these. It honestly freaks me out so much. So thank you to everyone that has chosen to subscribe to my channel. Honestly, like, you don't even know how much that means to me. But going on a random tangent, I'm just showing you my professional background. So let's just dive straight on in. I'm gonna start out with, let's start out with a lounger piece. Start with, I'm gonna pop on this little cord. Oh my gosh, I really hope this is still on the website. This is the dreamiest thing. So it's this super kind of fluffy, um, soft fabric. This comes in a small, medium and large, I believe. I did go for the large. Cardigan is just the dreamiest thing. Has this really, really loose kind of chilled out vibe to it. It's super cute. I love the color. It's in this nice cream color. Also does have buttons if you do want to do it up. Looks great with jeans. Looks great layered over little dresses. I love it, my new obsession. With that, it did come with these little shorts. Now these I could have gone down maybe a little bit size-wise. I am gonna pop them on so you guys can see, but they're just such a cute little um, match, these fluffy little white shorts. So I'll throw this outfit on, we can see what it looks like, but I'm obsessed with these little loungewear things at the moment, I'm living in them. Ta -da, ta -da. I feel like I'm at like a sleepover or I'm about to shoot some sort of like loungewear campaign in this whole aesthetic with the coffee and the cream cord. But with the little cardigan, um, I haven't got anything underneath this just because I wanted to show you guys kind of where it's going to hit you if you choose to go for the size large. So it's a really nice slouchy loose fit as you guys can see. Kind of has like almost like a um, bell shaped sleeve in a way. Love this. I just think it is the coziest, cutest thing. Cardigans for me are so vital to my wardrobe, particularly when we're kind of coming out of summer, I hate to say it, and going into autumn. Cardigans for me are just my go-to, so I absolutely love this one. Now, these are the little shorts. So like I mentioned, I did go for these in a large. They are very, very cute. I have folded mine over at the top. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see that, just because they're a little bit big on the waist on me. But, sorry, I've got a mirror here. I think as a little loungewear set in the house, it's the cutest thing ever. And then if I was gonna go out of the house, I'd probably choose to wear the cardigan like over things in my wardrobe. Of this set, I think it's lovely. I really want PLT to come out with this in a few more colors. I live in stuff like this. Um, I think you guys are probably gonna really like it as well. I think this is one of my top picks from today's video. I just think it's the cutest little cord ever. So I saw this on Instagram, I think 
I can't even remember who I actually originally saw this on, but definitely this style of dress that PLT do, because they kind of are doing this dress at the moment in like different sort of um, fabrics, colorways and patterns. And I instantly just thought it was the most gorgeous thing ever. I thought if we do get a nice day, a nice weekend, it would be a nice little dress to wear, even to the pub and dress it down. So I know I show these dressy things quite a lot. I have another kind of dressy cohort a lot um, to show you guys in a minute, sorry. And I get a lot of questions from people just like, oh, well, you know, that seems very glam. I don't always have something like that glam to go out to on a Saturday night. Neither do I, babes. Like, honestly, I really do not. I am not going to like some bougie dinners. That's not, that's not a bit of me. But I do go to the pub or I go out for drinks with my friends or I go to a restaurant or something like that. You can still wear things that seem quite dressy, I think, um, and dress them down. Like, honestly, you chuck on a denim jacket with this and some little Air Force trainers, completely change the whole vibe of the outfit. I know sometimes things look super, super dressy, but it's kind of just how you pair them and style them with other things that you own to kind of dress them down a little bit. So I thought this was really lovely. It has a really nice kind of fabric to it with the ruching. Everyone knows I like a bit of ruching. Just for a size guide, I did go for this in a 10. I am confused about my own sizes at the moment, um, just because I think I'm completely in between a 10 and a 12 at the minute. And that will probably change, but it does have a bit of stretch to it. So I'll pop it on and we can talk about it a little bit more when I've got it on. This is the little an email this is the little kind of yellow and blue dress gosh i feel like this is a little bit out of my comfort zone it's just it's tight it's a lot out it's definitely more of like a summery kind of vibe um i really like the fact that it's strapless actually i think that's really nice i'm currently not wearing a bra with it and i feel absolutely fine because this is all like double lined and everything has obviously the kind of two um ruche design oh no it doesn't have two sorry it has one kind of ruche design and you can adjust this so there's like a little bow at the corner of this um side on the left hand side and if i pull this really tight it's going to create more of a ruche so if you're on the petite side this dress might be great for you because when you pull it you can shorten it you don't necessarily have to get one from like the petite section if that makes sense you can definitely adjust the length i really like this i don't know if i did need the size 12 just to give me that little bit more kind of room in areas but then i also know that i don't have the biggest chest and sometimes the size 12 is a little bit too big on the top half so i don't know maybe the 10 absolutely fine it's definitely more of like a going out partying drinks that kind of vibe this is it at the back has a really cute little frill to the bottom i thought the color was so different and just like a nice kind of vibrant pop in my wardrobe this is just a basic outfit through and through literally couldn't get any more basic but i think a lot of us need this this kind of stuff in our wardrobes um, and that was why I really wanted to pick these bits up and kind of share them with you guys so I actually ordered I think I ordered this stuff myself I bought this stuff myself because oh, these jeans these jeans these jeans let's start by talking about jeans I Georgia May has ordered a pair of jeans I know if you've been following me for a while you're like what on earth she must really like these because that girl does not wear jeans very often completely true so these are a split hem jean that are currently on plt this is what they're looking like i'm obviously showing you guys on my nice hanger here um and then again they have like the split as you guys can see at the bottom of the jean now these jeans i got in a uk 10 so i want to make you guys aware of that because i know it's going to shock a lot of people because i am a 12 on my lower half so i got these in a uk 10 which I think means if you're in between sizes, go for the smaller size, just if you want them to be that kind of like tight fit around the waist, 100%. I'm obviously gonna pop them on so you guys can see what you think. They're just like a classic, I'm really excited about those. And then to go with that, I did just pick up a very basic white bodysuit. So this just literally is a thick kind of strap, square neckline, plain old white bodysuit. You can throw a plaid shirt over this, a leather jacket, um, like a jacket, a cardigan, just very handy with the jeans. I mean, it's just a basic outfit. So both of these things I got in a UK 10. I'm going to pop them on now and we can see what we think. Okay guys, so I have just popped on the white vest top with the jeans. I start out with the bodysuit. So this is in that kind of like slinky stretchy fabric. Um, I have got a load of ring lights in front of me. I know it's white. So we could be seeing a little bit of nippleage. I really don't know, to be honest with you. This is something that I would pair with like a huge plaid shirt, oversized jacket, like a big, even like a big boxy blazer. Um, just super easy, to be honest with you. It has, again, that kind of quite low back detail and then quite a square neckline. I'm into this neckline. I know it's not everyone's kind of thing, but I quite like a square neckline. These, uh, these are what I want to show you guys. This is what I want to show you guys. I cannot speak properly today. I don't know what is wrong with me, honestly. These are the jeans. Now we all know I don't like jeans. I moan about jeans. I hate jeans. 
So the fact that I'm loving these jeans is such a huge deal. Like, we all just need to appreciate it. Um, this is what I mean about going for the 10. So obviously I could have gone for the 12, but I just feel like with the 10, hopefully from the side you guys can see, they are fitting me so snug. I have hardly any space, which for me is so rare. So I am happy I managed to go for the 10 and get the 10 on. Um, this is what they look like on the bum. I think they're very, very flattering on the bum. I actually quite like how they look on the booty uh, they're very high waisted which i like because when i have crop tops i hate the thought of even having the tiniest slither of skin out it just isn't a bit of me so i like the fact that they're super high waisted but that's just something to bear in mind so hopefully you guys can see i know it's probably not the most flattering angle but like i was saying they have that sort of split design um which is just nice if you want to add like a chunky trainer because it kind of shows the shoe off a little bit i also think these would be really nice with a pair of strappy heels in the evening happy with these jeans i really am check them out i'm gonna link them below i really hope they're still in stock because i feel like every time i find a little gem that i want to share with you guys they fly and they're not in stock so i'm crossing everything that these jeans are still in stock for any of my girls that struggle with the jean saga okay so next time i'm going to move on to something a little bit more summery i have two kind of summery dresses here i'll do this one first um again i just thought it'd be really cute with some trainers and a denim jacket super easy it's this really nice like thick fabric actually this dress is really nice quality and it has ruched details all the way down the front so i got this in a uk 10 um again it has stretch to it so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this one on okay guys so next up i have this dress and i just I think this is the sweetest cutest little thing if maybe you have a nice little barbecue planned or a lunch or something like that i don't know i just really think it's lovely um i haven't tied the bow very well on this shoulder well i've kind of tied it on this uh shoulder to show you what it would look like if it fell at the back um a little bit more and then this is one that's sitting slightly more forward so i guess it kind of depends how you want it to sort of sit i actually quite like the one that's like at the back of the dress it's this little v-neck design and then it basically just goes down into this ruching I'm really happy I went for a 10 in this dress because there's a lot of stretch in here. So feeling good in this size, which is, again, quite obscure because normally I'd go for a 12. So I know I go on about sizes all the time. It's only because I know a lot of you guys are a similar size to me. And when I talk about sizes, I think it helps you guys out sometimes depending on the fit of the item. So feel free to let me know in the comments if I talk about sizes too much and you've had enough. I love the little floral design, the ditzy print on this with like the white base to it. It's a very me dress. Like... I don't know, I just saw it online and I was like, oh my gosh, I could see myself wearing that all the time. The weather at the minute is like up and down, raining and cloudy and then sunny and it's just so confusing. But I, I'm praying that I'm still going to get a little bit of wear out of things like this in my wardrobe. Um, because the next thing I have to show you is also a little summery dress. Going on from this one, I have another one and it looks like this. I saw this on a YouTuber. I can't think who it was. I'm so bad, aren't I? Like I see these things on people and I can't credit who i saw them on but i just thought it was really really sweet totally out of my comfort zone it's kind of that little 90s trend a little bit of a nighty vibe and i just thought it was sweet i grabbed this in a uk 12 um which i'm happy i went for the 12 on this because it does look on the smaller side to something like this Woo! okay so this is on the smaller side this is the little um kind of dress cami kind of dress that i wanted to share with you one thing i want to point out is if you are bigger chested you might not love the cut of this just because it scoops quite wide at the sides if that kind of makes any sense so you don't get a lot of coverage across here however i love the lace detail i really like the print this is something that i would pair with a big slouchy cardigan so this is the kind of thing where i would take like a i know this is not a styling video this is a haul so i'm sorry but i just want to show you guys what i mean um and now i feel so much more comfortable like I would go out in this i feel like it's really cute it's definitely still got like a little bit of skin out but i just feel like with the cardigan it adds like a little bit of security for me personally the print on this i think is a really nice summery dress i actually think if you do have a holiday planned or something it would look really lovely with literally flip-flops in the evening a really nice glowy like moisturized skin um and just like your hair in a bun or something super simple but i don't know i just think it could look really nice because it's very tight to the body so it's really going to show off your figure which i think is quite nice like show it off hun you know life's too darn short so buy the dress buy whatever you want show it off live life and i just think it's really quite a sweet little dress but it's definitely out of my comfort zone it's kind of more of that sort of 90s trend feel like i know i say this and people tell me off in the comments i'm a little bit old sometimes for this kind of thing but i see it on other girls and i think how cute is that so i did want to just share it with you guys if any of you lot are interested in something like this now i'm going to go on to my favorite little outfit at the moment that i have 
not stopped wearing um which is this skirt oh my gosh i'm obsessed with this skirt i'm gonna link this one below and they do some other patterns of it as well for a size reference i got this in a uk 12 i want to say i just adore it it's like kind of two layered it has this like sheerer fabric and then it has the black underlay to it i love the tie-dye print i love this skirt super cute my new fave i'll pop it on with this corset go for this in a 10 which i don't regret but it's a struggle to get this on so i know it's going to take me a little while to kind of get it on um but it's completely boned so it has all corseting all the way down here and it's gonna pull you in you could pair this with those denim jeans and it would be such a killer outfit so i'm going to throw this on and talk about the items when they're both on me but this this is just my new obsession i love this skirt Woo. Woof. so this is the corset i feel like i'm not i've not got it in the center of my body honestly guys this thing like because i went for the 10 takes me a little while to get it on but it's on which is all good i adore this like i'm not gonna lie i've always been a fan of the whole corset thing just because i find it very flattering for my personal body type i'm not a massive lover of like things on my lower half of my body and that's an area that i struggle with but I definitely prefer to go for something a little bit more fitted on the top if I'm going to go on a night out and then do something a little bit looser or baggier on the bottom. This is what this looks like together and don't get me wrong, I think it looks so cute. I think it's such a cute little outfit but that's just not how I would probably wear both these things. I'm more likely to wear this with some jeans and the skirt in the day. It really is going to bring, bring you in at the waist so if that's something that you're looking for, try it, see if it's a bit of you. PLT also do because I own them in other colours. A plain white and a plain black strapless corset which isn't as sucky in as something like this i will link those below because i wear them all the time um just like they're nice under blazers and just in the evening they're just a nice staple for me so yeah this is the little corset i think it's very very cute let's move on to the skirt this is what it looks like it's so cute really comfortable has stretch to it i like the fact that it's in black it's a nice transitional piece for me going into kind of autumn time and honestly guys i've been wearing this with big comfy loose oversized t-shirts trainers doc martens boots with it i just think it's the cutest thing i know plt do this in other patterns if the black and the tie-dye isn't for you i think they do like a really nice girly pink color and i think like a lilac but i love it i just think it's so nice like a really nice stretch to it my mum actually complimented this skirt she was like i really like that skirt on you george which getting a compliment from her she must like it so yeah i'm really happy with it glad i went for the 12 try something else let's go for these so these are a pair of flared trousers i think these are a staple i think everybody should own a pair of these they're like leggings but they're a little bit like more trendy and i think they're fab i got these in a uk 12 but they're from the shape section so i think the shape section is meant for girls that have maybe a smaller waist and like bigger thighs or a bigger bum so i have just put on these um flared trousers oh i love these i honestly love them they're so nice to wear with like big oversized hoodies t-shirts just as like a legging so i don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see i'll really try and pan the camera down but they fit quite tight they fit like a pair of flared jeans almost um so they're relatively tight on the legs and then they just go out um just below the knee and it's just such a flattering cut um i know i have bigger thighs and bigger legs so this is an area of my body that i'm a little bit insecure about but i do find the cut of these to be so flattering i need to pan you down i need to but yeah they have just like a really big dramatic flare they look really great with a pair of super chunky trainers and just like a big baggy t-shirt like super basic not very exciting um but i love them they're my absolute fave they look good on the booty yeah i'm obsessed with these flared trousers because i've got these trousers on i am going to pop on another top so this is another kind of corset design top oh the print of this is so lovely i just fell in love with it again i went for a uk 10 in this it's really similar to what i've got on now but it's slightly less like intense if you will um without the kind of like awkward sort of like silver thing which you have to sort of clip in and out this is just a classic corset with a zip at the back is the little blue corseted kind of like renaissance -y vibe top i just really like this for me this is a little bit more casual so something i'm more likely to wear out probably i know it sounds bizarre but maybe in the daytime with some jeans and like a blazer or something um versus in the evening again it still has that kind of like corseted design but it isn't boned so this is all malleable like it moves around unlike the black one where it's literally like pieces of like plastic um that are pulling you in at your waist this is a little bit more comfortable it's just easy on a night out when you're panicking what do i wear i have nothing to wear i'm having a moment 
pair of jeans, one of these little corset tops and a big boxy oversized blazer. So cute, one of my favorite out go-to outfits. So yeah, just really like the pattern on this one. Again, I got this in a 10 um, and I think it's cute. I think it's very cute. I like the blue, a little bit different. I think they might do this in another pattern as well, but don't hold me to that. And now I'm gonna go back to another loungewear item. This is a little cohort that I picked up. They're in this sort of nude color, but what drew me to them is the side details. They have all this sort of ruching. And I don't know, I just thought that was a little bit different. This was the top that also goes with it. And I got this in a UK 10. Nice sort of like stony nude color. Someone's texting me, who the heck is that? Okay, so if I take off the shirt, this is what it's looking like. I haven't got a bra on, so I definitely need to wear one with this kind of nude color, especially when I'm standing in front of a ring light. Um, but I really like the cut of it. I like the scoop neck, love the color. It has a little bit of like scrunch to it and ruched to it at the side, which I think is really lovely. And these are the shorts. So I really like these. Again, I need to not wear blue underwear with them, but how nice is the ruched design at the side? <gasps> I think that's really nice. I actually really love the color of this. I wasn't sure if it was gonna wash me out, but I think it's quite nice. Makes a bit of a change for summer. Um, instead of wearing like a black cycle short and a black top, a nude one is a little bit more you know, summer vibes. I see these girls out in these little cycle shorts and crop tops on Instagram and I think, yes, you look amazing. For me, I'm gonna pop on a nice jacket over the top because I just felt a little bit more comfortable that way. Last and final item I have to share with you guys is something a little bit more dressy. This is a mint cord. Oh, I saw this on PLT. Instantly fell in love with it. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. The top I went for in a 10 and the skirt I went for in a 12. I'm gonna pop it on and talk to you guys about it because I've already tried on this piece and I have a few things to say, but I just think the color, oh, look at that color. It is amazing. Last but hopefully not least, we have this cord. Oh my gosh, I just, I love this. I think it's so lovely. My best friend is ringing me. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, honey. I just have to tell you. What? Sorry, that was my best pal on the phone there telling me some gossip. Right, let's go back to this. So this is the cohort of dreams. This is what I saw on PLT. This is what inspired me basically to make the order of all the stuff that I ended up getting. I just thought this was so lovely. So as a size guide, I went for the skirt in a 12 and the top in a 10. And honestly, this is gonna sound so controversial. I think I could have sized down in both of them. So if you're looking at this cohort and you're similar size to me or something like that, I actually think I'd probably size down. So the only reason why I say that is I just don't have the boobs to fill out this top. I almost wish that I'd got this in an eight just so it was even tighter. I don't know how well you guys can see. Um, I really love it when tops are like, <gasps> when you basically can't breathe in them. Bizarre very bizarre but I just like to feel very secure and I do feel like this is a little bit big on me with the skirt it's just got a lot of excess fabric in the 12 I wish I'd gone for the 10 but saying all of that I'm either going to get it altered um in this size or I'm going to just go online and see if I can get the smaller size in the top or something and alter the skirt because the skirt fits really lovely across the thighs like I think if I went down to the 10 it'd be a little bit too tight this is my most favorite thing from the entire haul I think the color's lovely the cut the fact that it's a cute little cord I love the little puff sleeve detail I just think this is so nice. If you have like a birthday or a friend's party or an event, this is something I 100% would reach for. I just think it looks so cute. Okay guys, so that actually sums it up for today's pretty little thing haul. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite outfit was, if you're picking any of these pieces up, what you wanna see next time, if ever I do other videos with PLT, um, what sort of video styles you guys like. I just miss this classic old school PLT haul. It's something I haven't done in forever and I felt it was about a time that I kind of did one so I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please please leave a thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe check me out on Instagram check PLT out on YouTube everything's going to be linked below I'm down there replying to comments if you have any questions about anything on sizing and stuff like that um and I will see you all in my next video bye guys